is just a sad one from um, top seeded um, Novak Djokovic going into this wow. competition. Everybody thought it was going to be his year. And getting a red card. winning the Grand Slam at least. Yeah. Um, meeting up with the likes of um, um, what's he called, Rafael Nadal yeah. and also Roger Federer. But with this, uh, it's all hope has been dashed. It's kind of funny because if you see, if you if you take a critical look at the way he you know swing the ball. I think he saw the lady, maybe he's trying to vent his anger or something, but I don't know, he's, he's so sad it's coming from a guy like him. Exactly, I agree. A, real, a perfect gentleman, I mean, acting that way, and, and you know, I mean, nobody's above the law. Mm. And the rule stays that, look, if you do these things, this is what you're gonna get. You get, you, I mean, you, you get kicked out. So, he, and he was, he was so surprised that stuff like that could come, you know. Well, a lot of people have been talking about that incident and everyone has been blaming him, past um, tennis players, yeah. legends yeah. too, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also um, talking about um, um, sport journalists too yeah. when it comes yeah. to tennis. And everybody has been blaming um, Novak Djokovic. Well, in my own opinion, I feel he's an accidentally discharged. Um, probably, um, we might say, don't you think um, that is just too much for him? It is, but by, by, by think if you want to vent your anger, like you don't. Like disqualification, probably they would have given him probably reduction are, of points or something. That the, the tennis federation has set down laws. You know that particular move he made. You know swinging his racket and you know hitting. The, I mean, got the ball and hit the, the lady. They have specifics. There are laws <sighs> guiding this whole thing. You know you can't even swing your racket on the ground. So he got. I mean, he, he got the red card. He has to. He has to be disqualified. Nobody's above the law. It only goes a long way to show that, look, we guys have to sit up. Whoever you are, no matter the name you have, you know, even if you are, you are Lionel Messi, for God's sake, you have to face, you know, the, I mean, the wrath of the law. Well, it's so sad. And that's what this means is the fact that we'll be having a new, um, probably a new crowned and yeah, this open and Grand yeah. Slam winner without the big guns, the likes of Andy Murray, the likes and, of... Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, yeah. even Novak Djokovic. Too. And funny enough, he wasn't just only disqualified. It's going to affect his ranking. Exactly. It's yeah. going to affect him because before coming into um, this competition, he was actually the highest ranked, yes. world number one. Mm -hmm. And now, the mm -hmm. way it is now, it's going to affect his ranking, yeah. also affect some of yeah. his points. And also, Definitely. he might just be paying some fines too as yeah. regards to this. Apart from paying fines, it's going to affect his endorsements. And personally, it's going to affect him big time. How volume, how big is this? This is big. This is this is like um, I don't want to call it the eighth one of the world. It's 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 so big. I don't know how to describe it. It's colossal. Coming from a guy like this, no, come on. I mean, it's it's, it's gonna affect a lot of things. His 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 personal life, his family, you know, his fans, endorsements, business. But I just I just hope he apologizes. Then probably come back and do what he knows how to do best. All right, talking about apologizing, I think I read something about this um, no Novak Djokovic. He came out to apologize, no doubt. He has come out to say that the old situation has left him really sad and empty. Yeah. Um, I checked on the lines persons and the tournament told me and that thank God she's feeling okay. We are talking yeah. about the line, yeah. lines judge here. And he said, I am extremely sorry to have caused her such um, stress. So mm. unintended, so wrong. I am not disclosing her name and um, to respect the um, privacy as for the disqualification I need to go back within and work on my disappointment and turn all this into a lesson for my growth and evolution as a player and human being I apologize to the U United States um, um, Open US Open tournament and everyone associated associated for my behavior I am very grateful to my team and my family and being my rock support and my fans for always being there with me. Thank you and I am so, so sorry. So he has come out to apologize. Oh, well, he has bad. realized that what yeah. he did was wrong. So yeah. probably they might just temper justice with mercy. The fans I'm talking about this time around. Anyways, away from that, let's quickly go to um, football and let's talk about some transfer um, news that is making rounds when it comes to football. We'll be starting with this one. It's done and dusted, almost done and dusted for um, Barcelona's low, um, forward, um, Luis Suarez, to seat um, a language um, test today in Italy following a three-year contract with um, Juventus. East 33 for crying out loud. And three-year contract coming from Juventus. This is huge. Yeah, really huge. Um, the old ladies of Turin decided to get his services. And Suarez, we know, we know the kind of player he is. He delivers mm. the goods, you know. 
and um, he's an excellent player. Mm. Forget about the age, he can still deliver. At least we saw it in the Champions League, though they were outstead, you know, um, you know, knockout stages. But all the same, I, I, I think it's a good one for Suarez, also for Juventus, having such a great player in the team. And we expect um, Suarez to do more, you know, and assist them and help um, Juventus to go far, you know, in the league. Will he be greatly missed by Barcelona? Definitely he will. How many years now? Over by uh, about five seasons. Yeah, he will. He will be missed. And even for him, leaving Baka, it wasn't his wish. Mm. You know, this whole messy saga got him so kind yeah. of frustrated and he has to leave. But it's a good one for him going to, you know, Italy. Juventus, yeah. um, especially mm -hmm. with the offer of three-year contract. Yeah, three-year contract. And what that means, he will be meeting the likes of Ronaldo Definitely too. They'll become the teammates and, uh, if yeah, that eventually yeah. happens. So <laughs> let's see how that will happen um, today. Still sticking um, with Barcelona. Let's talk about this one. New Barcelona coach, Renard Koeman, has told the club he wants to keep Felipe Coutinho this season rather than send the Brazilian forward back out on loan. Everybody, a lot of people want Coutinho right <laughs> A lot of people want Coutinho right Could now. it be a result of the fact that he won the um, Champions League? Well, I guess so. Because, right, yeah, because Coutinho told, he told back, I said, look, I am one of your best players, whether you like it or not. Mm. I, I mean, I, I won the Champions League. And he has started training with Baka. He's back in the camp. He's training. So, but I think, um, yeah, since Kuma wants him back, he has to go back. I really proved that he's a better player. I'm following the fact that Luis Suarez is leaving. So yeah, there so might he's going to get, get playing time. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna go opportunity for him to really show himself and, uh, you know, um, come back to scoring ways. All right, there are also some plenty juicy um, transfer um, news to making the round of sports. Um, you know what? We'll be dishing more about that information in the afternoon um, sports um, matters um, show um, yesterday. Kotze, the likes of Joel, he will be mm. doing that for us today. A lot is happening in the world um, of football, a lot of transfer and uh, making news. And also, leagues are preparing um, to resume. So say, let's see how that will happen yeah. um, later on today. Um, thank you so much for being thank part of the show. Thank you very much for having me. All right, and to you out there, we say a very big thank you to you for being part of the show today. Remember that COVID-19 is still real. Until then, I remain Francisca Mobodo. It's bye for now.